In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up custom CSS for your Twitch alerts event list. And then I'm going to show you how to edit it very easily to match your channel's custom color preferences. Let's get right into it. To celebrate a thousand followers on Twitch and 5,000 subscribers on YouTube, I've adapted a design I did for streamer kickstand and I've made it into a free resource that's available on nerdordie.com. So the first thing you're going to need to do is go to the link for this specific post and it will be in the description below. Now towards the bottom there's going to be a post with a text box that contains CSS code. First you're going to want to right click inside that text box and hit select all. Next right click again and hit copy. Now what we want to do is actually log into our Twitch Alerts dashboard. From here we're going to click event list. Once the page is loaded click the drop down in the theme section and change it to custom CSS. Now right click inside the text box and hit paste. At this point you're almost ready to go. You can now customize what the alerts look like. First this theme color will actually change the background color with the icons in it. So you can choose something like a red, a blue, whatever fits your channel. Now in the event list options you can actually choose to show followers, subscribers, and donations. Check the boxes that make sense for you and then they will be displayed in your event list. The max event slider will control how many events are shown at one time. I personally leave mine around five, but feel free to choose what works best for your stream. Unfortunately, at the time of this video, the box with the names of the users and what type of event it was cannot be edited with one of the color pickers inside of Twitch alerts. I worked hard to try to make this happen, but I just couldn't get it right. So there is a workaround to it. And if you're interested, you can actually go up to the custom CSS box, then go to line 86. Here you can set the color to whatever CSS color you'd like. If you don't know much about CSS or hex codes or RGBA values, then you might not want to change this. But for example, if we wanted to use a red, we could simply change the pound 222 to something like pound FF0000 or the color of your choice. So again, if that's something you want to try to change, feel free to, uh, but you can go down and change the text color with the color picker. And you can also use the drop down for a font that you'd like to select. I personally like Oswald and there's a couple of other good ones, but if you're not sure what font to use, go ahead and browse Google fonts and then you'll be able to see your options. Now text size, background color, animation, and animation speed will not be affected. However, you can choose to flip the alignment along the X or Y axis. This means that you can be aligned to the right or left side or even animate from top or bottom. Once you're done with this, click save settings. After you're all done with this, you just need to add it into OBS and XSplit. You can go up to the how to use section and then they'll actually have a URL that you'll be able to add into OBS or XSplit. For OBS, you just simply need to add this inside the CLR browser source, or for XSplit, you add it into a browser source. Now in your streaming program, make sure to set your width and height to 600 by 600 pixels. If you need more help with this, you can check out another one of my videos on how to use CLR browser plugin, and I'm going to just quickly show here how to do it as well. Now, that's all for this video and I want to say thank you again to everyone that subscribed on YouTube, everyone that has watched me on Twitch. I really appreciate it. I hope to come out with more free resources in the near future. And don't forget to like this channel, subscribe to it if you really enjoyed these videos, and I'll see you guys next time. Take care.